And if I know, he knows he can trust me because I've seen it. If I just go pay attention to me without any idea of what he's doing, it doesn't make me a great leader. But if I can acknowledge him, it will. I'm going to tell him again. Not your best friend, but look how soft that was. That's how I know he's been touched. Because his, his first one or two would be that he's not been touched with a pole. When he improves that quickly, he's been touched back. So his ears on, he's paying attention, his eye is not on. So his ears saying, I know you're there, but the eye is everywhere else. And although he looks a little bit tired, he doesn't need to be that tired yet. So that's better. A better touch. Perhaps he is. Nice he is. Every time it comes down, there's your thank you, and he retreats. There's a double or three because the eyes are down, back, and the whip or the stick down. Great thank you because we've got a fantastic draw. So we're building on the draw, getting him comfortable. And when he looks this time, we're teaching touch. And you'll promise that we'll always lead when you touch it. Block, teaching a stop, and a stop. Knowing he's got nowhere to go. Thanking him. So when I've done stop, stop, it's a nice release. Versus stop, stop, and I'm going to still come at you. Yeah, and I was going to Exactly, so it's stop, thank you, stop, thank you, great standing. You've got all the space you need, but I'm not going to corner you and poke you, right? Or corner you and touch you. I want you to want it, and I don't want it to be because you feel cornered. Stop. Nice job. And thank you. And it's nice because he's tripped go, ah, I was going to stop, but I tripped over the thing. Fantastic. And furthermore, you touched it and you didn't startle and you're looking towards me. Movement with Sharon in a good way and then how nice it was that he could move gently. Beautiful facing up, nice touch. So suddenly the touch isn't that bad. He's not so worried. We have good job. We've got things happening behind him. He's good. His head's up listening to this. And it won't be on tracking. Well done buddy. If you can track it, he's not only learning it will come and go, but he's moving his head to my presence while I stand in one position. He's also seeing I'm not being sneaky going, you track it and I'll touch you. It's very clear and transparent. Oh. So, you could say, let's see if he's ready for me. You got this? Oh, 
job. He didn't get what I was looking for, but I got a yell, so that's lovely. And I'll chuck the dog on. What if we, I'm going to block him a little bit. What if in my, in my mind, I would be saying, oh, stop. I would be saying, I'd be saying, may I touch you with it? Thanking him for standing square. He's a little worried to look at it. Well done. So we'll make that up again because that just stopped him abruptly and then he wasn't sure if he could touch it. So my mind might be saying, could you track it down towards your foot? Fantastic. Could you track it down to the other foot? You may or may not. Track it. Track it to your shoulder. Great job. Track it to this shoulder. He repositioned his feet to track it, right? This one he did, the other one he had to move because he wanted me to stand in a certain place, I think. First, I like to buff up when they put their head down. So that they don't have to startle when they bring their head up. But they go, you know, you. And it's intuitive when you get to that point. You might have done that. You go under the eye. They feel flattered in the way they're starting to look there. Nice little block here. First block I've done. And the head. Eyes are soft and beautifully side. Because you always feel inclined to do more when they're side like that. Back of the hand. To the front. deliberate stroke. Nice deliberate stroke. I'm thinking, look at me. I'm teaching him to yield and the few together. Am I going bad? Same thing. the word offering comes in is the fact that the course is asked to stand in the corner a little bit but he does have options to lead and although he was engaging enough to go absolutely I can accept all of that it might not feel good if I keep going forward he didn't really have a huge option because I'd say block block but enough if it was too much he'd ask to leave if he asked to leave I'd probably ask him to stand and then I'd retreat but while it goes well you've also got to retreat so go, that was really cool what you did there. Could I approach a little bit faster? Pause because he's smelling and then go, can I touch you like that? Under the chin, having taken my hand off mm -hmm. and into the neck. Remember you've done some of that. 
and was leaning a lot on that side, so I'd notice it. Change my position. I've got him upright now. And what I've really said is, try not to be out of my classroom. Try to be in my classroom. Don't think how to get away. Think to stay. Like that. Think to stay. Right? Soft. Good licking. So he's got the heart, the upside down heart lip. That will mean he will be very friendly now. And hopefully in the next few the up days will be very friendly. Mm -hmm. What does the upside down heart mean? He's got the upside down heart like that. And you're guaranteed he'll be friendly. He's I think Adam said higher ranking right now he's he's very patted in his higher ranking as he is. So he's very patted and kind. Very soft muzzle, highly intelligent, fairly strong.